In a city with the energy and ambition of New York, to be named a living landmark is truly an accomplishment. But when, over five decades, you've done as much to improve the lives of New Yorkers as Marion High School, you've earned it. Her family's history gave us clues. President George Washington corresponded with an early branch of her family, assuring them they would contribute much to our country. Marion's grandfather made good on the promise when he took a struggling newspaper and transformed it into the media powerhouse we know today. For Marion, this translated into a series of civic achievements that have immeasurably improved New Yorkers' lives. Bob Wagner, then mayor, decided something had to be done to clean New York City. And my father said he had a daughter who did nothing but like to clean. That got me started. And and uh, I joined the Community Service Society Board. Uh, I was asked to go on the a committee that had been formed by the President Kennedy to help the federal parks. And then the, the National Park Advisory Board came around. And I said, sure. I was the only woman on that board at the time, and that was great fun, too. And then. Audubon came along and asked me to join their board. In between the Council on the Environment, which John Lindsay and I started. So that was my start. Today we take for granted the relative cleanliness of our streets. But back when Mayor Lindsay invited Marion to join the Council on the Environment of New York, it was a different story. And I said, sure, anything to clean New York. New York wasn't exactly the way it is today. Lots of paper floating around. The, the dog shit, I can say, was appalling. You had to watch your step all the time. Their pioneering efforts galvanized into Grow NYC, an organization which has brought farmers markets to the city, built community gardens, and taught young people about the environment. And in assuming leadership positions at the New York Botanical Garden and New Yorkers for Parks, Marion ensured our residents continue to have access to some of the best gardens and parks in the world. On leading the new 42nd Street campaign, Marion helped effect one of the most striking transformations in urban America, Times Square. In rebuilding its theaters, they turned a blighted eyesore into a welcoming beacon and a national symbol of urban renewal. Today, her tireless energy and enthusiasm are focused on an even larger scale as chairman of the National Parks of New York Harbor Conservancy. This effort is heightening New Yorkers' awareness of and access to some of the most biologically productive public parkland on the eastern seaboard. It includes the 18,000 acres of Jamaica Bay, a critical marine sanctuary, especially for birds. And yes, Marion has been a friend of the birds. With Audubon New York, her leadership has helped connect increasing numbers of people with nature through the birds we see every day. Here, she has helped lead with a cool hand, building a powerful state presence. It's this same trait which explains her becoming the first ever woman to serve on the boards of three Fortune 100 companies. As everyone who has had the privilege to work with Marion knows, her warm demeanor, genuine enthusiasm, keen intellect, and ability to get any job done have earned her our immense respect and qualified her as a living legend of New York.